Hi, this is Daniel Hooper from 1% Property coming to you with your weekly property market update for Kedron, Gordon Park and the surrounding suburbs. Uh, it is Friday the 9th of September and this week we had 1,233 sales across Queensland, which is actually a pretty good figure. That's a little more than we've been seeing. Uh, the auction clearance rate was 36%, which is very low, but it's on par with what we've seen in the recent uh, weeks and months. And uh, across the inner north, we had 26 sales. There wasn't a lot of uh, what I would call notable sales over the last week. Um, something I have not re noticed recently, a trend in our area is lots and lots of apartments are selling. Um, last year, houses were selling very quickly and apartments were taking longer. This year, what I've noticed is that uh, every apartment I've listed in the last three months has sold in the first weekend. Now, I have a feeling it's because people are getting priced out of the housing market. And if you're wanting to live in Stafford, you're wanting to live in Kedron or Surrounds, and say you have you know five or six hundred thousand dollars, you're not buying a house anymore. So that the market for apartments uh, has potentially increased, which obviously means they're going to be more desirable. Which means it could be a fantastic time to sell if you are thinking about selling an apartment in the area. Um, one property which I will mention, it's not quite sold yet, but we put it on, under contract today. So sixty six Sixth Avenue. That is a two bed, one bath on 607 on the Kedron Avenues. Um, under contract today after three weeks on the market, we achieved a the highest price ever achieved in Kedron for a two bed, one bath uh, on the, this sort of block size. So, you know, again, it, it's, it's one of those things where, although the market is not what it used to be, not what it was last year, we're still getting really good results. Um, and it's all just about how you market a property and how you sort of put it out there, how you handle the buyers and, and everything else that goes into it. In the media this week, as expected, there has been another rate rise of 50 basis points or half a percent, which takes us to 2.35%. Um, look, that was widely expected, but I know some people were hoping for less. Uh, obviously, less would have been better as far as home values. I think potentially in October, uh, it may be less. It might be maybe a quarter of a percent instead of half a percent, but obviously we will see what happens with the RBA. House prices are down 2.5% across Brisbane over the last quarter, over the last three months. Um, we're still up 17% year on year, but obviously that is starting to slow down quite a bit. Um, I Look, I, I, from what I've seen in the market, I have a feeling that the worst of it was June, July. Um, I feel like consumer confidence is coming back a little bit, and I think I'm hoping that things are going to start to level out towards the end of the year, and then and then we'll enter that next phase of the market um, of, the, of the property cycle, which is sort of just being very stagnant for, for probably quite a long time. That's what I'm hoping. Obviously, it does depend on what's going on in the world, depends on what's going on in, in the economy. Uh, lots and lots of things can change, so we'll see how that plays out. At 1% property this week, uh, it's been another great week. So as I mentioned, we had 66 6th Avenue we put under contract today. A few weeks on the market, plenty of offers, um, ended up getting a, you know, matching it up with a perfect uh, buyer profile for that particular property. And as I said, we, we had a, a price come over the line that, that was uh, was the highest price for this sort of property in, in Kedron. Um, on the market at the moment, we have three Achilles Street, which is in Kedron. That's the property, the big sort of ski chalet looking home at the top of the hill on Achilles Street. Panoramic views, four beds, three levels, a pool. Uh, it's a beautiful property. It's got a lot to offer. Uh, that one is open tomorrow at 1 p.m. One Milne Street in Chermside. That one is, um, it, it's still on the market. Again, it's a big block. It's been renovated. It's a three bed home, one bath, plus a one bed, one bath granny flat. So a lot to offer. Uh, it's right on the border of Wavell Heights. Also 125 Kirby Road, which is in Aspley. Uh, that one is still on the market as well. 36 Bell Noel is currently still on the market, but uh, I believe we may be getting an offer through today. So I'm hoping we're gonna close that one off today. Having said that, if, if not, we will still be open there tomorrow at 10 a.m. Coming soon, uh, lots and lots of exciting properties lined up. So just listed a new one yesterday in Railton Street in Aspley. Um, it's a big townhouse. So it's three beds, three bath, two car, uh, multiple living spaces. It's uh, just a, a stone's throw from the park and walking tracks. It's a really, really cracker property. If you're looking for a larger property, but you don't have the capacity to purchase a freestanding home, this one might be uh, might be perfect for you. So get in touch. Uh, 15 Ford Street in Clayfield. I put out a bit of a sneak peek about that one earlier this week. It is a character home on Ford Street, walking distance to Clayfield College, St. Rita's and St. Margaret's. 
Um, it's got potential to raise and build out. It's currently a four bed, two bath with a pool, 500 square meter block of land. Really, really cool opportunity. I'm excited to sell that one. 24 BB Street coming up in Weibull Heights. It is a brick build, partially renovated, uh, ready to move in, but certainly lots of uh, potential to add value. 600 plus block of land. It's got a pool as well. That's a fantastic one that's gonna be coming up. Uh, 17 Arkham Street in the Gap. Um, that is an entry level property into the Gap. Will be. It's a four bed, two bath. It's a brick build. Again, lots and lots of opportunity to add value, but also ready to move in. Uh, and I have another one on Broughton Street that is currently off market, um, but large block, 750 plus square meters, massive house, it's got seven bedrooms. It's a battle axe block, so it's separated back from the street. That one will be coming to the market probably in about two or three weeks, but at the moment it's off market. Uh, if you had any questions about any of the properties that I've mentioned today, if you have any questions about the market or you have anything else that I can be of assistance with, please give me a call. Otherwise, I hope you've had a fantastic week and I hope the weekend is even better.